Well, we've been parishioners for, for 26 years. Uh, the church was built in 1960. When I first came up this morning, just to see what, what if anything was happening, I was shocked to see that one-fifth of the church was gone. And I have to admit, I was surprised at my reaction. It, uh, it almost made me cry. It, it was like watching a relative die. I think it's terrible. I think it's a very sad day for Northwest Indiana to be losing landmarks and our history like right. this. It's sad. When people go to school here for all their lives and get married here and have their kids go to school here and get baptized, baptized weddings. confirmation, weddings. It's Your disgusting. It's like I went here, my kids went here, my brothers and sisters, my parents sent seven of us here. And this is how they repay us, by ripping it down. This is our money. We donated this money. We sent our kids to school here. We supported this school and this church. And this is how they repay us. It's, it's really an emotional experience. You know, so it's, it needed to be done. Uh, I'm glad it's gonna be gone. We'll have better sight lines from the street because right now we look like we're a derelict church. But now we have this beautiful sanctuary here, St. Peter and Paul and people will be able to see us from the street. And the, the they're standing churches all over Europe, thousands of years old. And they're still there. And they're still there. Shame on you. Yeah. So, uh, I love history and I love the building, uh, but it really was had become a hazard. It needed to come down, unfortunately.